Hello again. After a long break from making videos, I'm back today with a tutorial on my method of colouring maps. I think I speak for all digital artists when I say that the first colour I put down is never the one that ends up in the finished product. And the method I'd like to share with you is designed to make adjusting these colours super easy. It's called flatting in the illustration world and is an incredibly simple yet incredibly useful method of colouring. I'm working in Photoshop these days, but you can adapt what I'm about to show you into GIMP or uh, similar programs, as long as they support layers and layer masks. So let's get started. Here we have a Photoshop project containing a background layer and a line art layer. So we're all set to get colouring. We're going to lay down our first flat or solid color layer. You can find this option under layer, new fill layer, solid color. In the dialog that appears, give your new layer a descriptive name, such as cobblestone and hit OK. The rest can be left as default. In the next window, choose a color that is close to the color of your imagined cobblestone but it need not be perfect yet, as the whole point of this method is to make it easily adjustable later. In fact, I often choose very simple colors that will contrast well at this point, so that filling them in is a little easier. A solid color fill layer is exactly what it sounds like. It's a solid color that fills the layer. It also has a mask, which is filled by default. This is why your screen is now cobblestone colored. To fix this, select the mask element of your new layer in the layers window and invert it. Control I does the trick in Photoshop. Now this will clear the color from your canvas completely. When editing a fill layer, you must always select this mask. Think of it as a light filter for your color where black blocks all the color and white lets it all through and shades of gray let only a portion of it through. Alternatively, think of white as your brush and black as your eraser. Knowing this, we can start painting in our cobblestone. Make sure the mask of your cobblestone layer is selected and using a white colored brush, fill in the area as you desire. After the cobblestone, paint in the floorboards, the carpet, the roof, and just rinse and repeat until all of your blocked colors are down. And remember, they need not look nice yet. Also, feel free to use a regular layer for intricate details, such as the scattered multicolor books and potions I have in this map. At this point, your block colors are down, and now you're ready for shading. I'll be making a guide for this in a future video, so please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you don't want to miss it. After some time, you'll have filled in all your colors and shading, and be looking at a slightly off-color version of the map you'd imagined. Now we can put the advantage of flatting to use. See, at any point during your coloring, you can double-click the color elements of your solid color layer and reselect its color. We're going to use this to tweak and fuss until we achieve a palette that we like. I usually start with the most prevalent colors and work my way down to the scarcer colors. So I'll also make a separate video on color theory sometime, but for now consider yourself equipped with what might be the easiest way to adjust colors in Photoshop. You've also made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and all that jazz as there will be more like it in the future. If you'd like to browse my maps, hit one of the links on your screen or check the description. Finally, I'd like to say a big thanks to all the people from Patreon on screen who keep these maps and tutorials coming. I'm incredibly grateful. Well, that's all for now, so I will see you in the next video. Bye.